Koala Cafe Shea. Hello, welcome back to Koala Cafe Shea. My name is Cafe Shea, and today I have a little mid year motivation video for you. Basically, I know around this time of the year, or the academic year anyway, uh, it gets a little bit dull and stagnant. I know I personally start to think about this time of the year like, why am I studying? This is so long. I'm not doing well anymore or my grades aren't improving, they're just staying the same. I'm just bored of school, I'm bored of the same routine, I can't wait for summer. It's just bleh. And I get that feeling. So I'm gonna be sharing my advice and tips for when I reach this time of year, what things I do to make myself feel more motivated and ready for the exam season. I usually start my mid-year reset by re-evaluating the last half of the year. So to do this, I will look at things that I achieved in the last term and a half, as well as things that I think I could have improved on. This half term, I personally, I got an offer from Cambridge, which is insane, I still can't believe it. So that's definitely like my biggest achievement this term. I also got an A in my EPQ project. If you want to hear a little bit about my EPQ in short, then I posted about it on my Instagram, which I will link below. So those are my main two achievements of this half term. And then things I think I could have done better on was my time management. Next step is to set small, smart targets for yourself. So these targets, they're not going to be like, get three A stars. That is way too wishy-washy, it's way too broad. What I want you to do is be really specific. It makes it more of a step to take towards the end goal rather than the target being the end goal. So for example, I would really, really like to get 3A stars in my A levels. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to do full practice papers in times condition. I'm gonna do some essay plans. And I'm gonna try and get as many essay plans as I can done. And then I also want to make sure that I am on top of my revision notes, like flashcards, notes, and I don't really make a lot of those. So like that's kind of a smaller task. Also, I just noticed that there's a crane outside the window. So if you hear a good noise, it's the crane. Hello. I don't know what they're doing. I think they might be cleaning windows. Next tip is to have a reset day and organize your papers and organize your stationery and stuff. So I've been doing this not in one set day, but I've been doing it progressively throughout the whole half term week. And basically what I've done is in the corner of my room, there is this huge like cupboard thing where I have my books, I have my GCSE papers, I have my A-level folders, I have flashcards, I have notes, and I, it, it was just a mess. And basically it's a good idea during the mid-term point to just look through all of this and think, do I really need this? Try and clear out as many things as you can. Um, so I was inspired to do this by the YouTuber Michelle B. I will link her profile below and she gives loads of really good advice on how to like simplify your life and to get rid of all of this clutter that you really just don't need. It's also easier to find the materials you need if you've organized it well. Visualize your goals and I really really love doing this. I spend a lot of my time thinking about the future and this is based on the law of attraction so I'm not too familiar with this theory but it essentially suggest that if you visualize your goals and you like think of the specific details within it and you imagine yourself living your dream and your goal then eventually the universe will work with you to create that within the frame of visualizing your goals and organizing yourself it's really good to make like a vision board this is my a level vision board as you can see i've put my weekly timetable my weekend timetable and my exam calendar i've also personalized it with some motivational quotes that i found on pinterest and a picture of jesus college and my gcsc one i also had pictures of my prom dress and pictures of my friends just make it really nice and personal Okay, so I think that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope it's been helpful and it's inspired you to get your life in gear for this midterm reset. And I really wish you a lot of luck this next half term. I know you can do this, I believe in you. Please comment down below if you have any suggestions of what people could do to reset their life. And I think that's it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye.